Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Carol. In today's video, I wanted to review a pattern I recently completed. Um, I've been in a sewing rut lately and once I get in my sewing room, it's like I start looking at pieces, different fabrics, and I get overwhelmed is a word I want to use because I'm not sure what I want to make again. I just get caught up in fabric and project flies out of my head. I did not post last Sunday because I did not have a project completed and I was working on this in the week and I wasn't done. So I'm done now and I'd like to share it with you um, before I finish the next one. This one is McCall's 8284. I think. One second. This pattern is McCall's 8285. That's 8285. Um, this one, I've made it before. I've had this linen um, I purchased from Mood probably last year or the year before, and I've always wanted to do it. I just couldn't find the right pattern. It's a beautiful um, tie-dye um, fabric. It's a light linen, um, kind of on the light side of like, uh, chambray and so I wanted to do something different um lately I've been seeing a lot of pleats um and a lot of ready-to-wear fashion pieces so I wanted to do something like a tennis dress but not necessarily a tennis dress the style that has the top and um I pleated the base of this so I used this as the pattern the only thing I changed was the base instead of gathering I did pleats so I cut an extra piece of this and so instead of making two pieces I cut three and then did pleats on the inside. I used a traditional table fork to form the pleats on the pattern and um, get it the way I wanted to because I wasn't sure of the sizing of each pleat and all that mess. So I used the fork to make sure it remained consistent and uniform in terms of the um, each pleats each pleat that I created. I'm going to go ahead and grab that so you can take a look and see how it turned out. So here is the fabric up close. And let me start. Don't know where to start. Okay. <laughs> So again, this is a gorgeous fabric. I absolutely love it. Um, I love the color. I love the texture of the linen. Again, it's soft. And so because I knew that the linen was um, not opaque enough, just transparent, I yes, um, I decided to, um, I didn't line it, kind of like interlined it because I cut, um, other pieces of cotton that I had, white cotton. And so I um, interlined the bodice. So I cut two of each and stitched the white fabric onto the linen. So made it one. So I had a uh, double fabric working with for this. So again, I cut two of each of the bodice piece and just interlined it. Um, for the front yoke, I cut two as well. So I'd have the yoke on the inside as well as the outside. Um, I had some white piping. So to kind of add some uh, dimension to it, just to break it up a bit on the front, I kind of had the piping go across the top, like right there. Same thing on the other side. And then the back yoke, I did two on the inside. French seam on the arms eye, the sleeve. The back yoke, I had the piping running back there as well. Just to create a little difference. And then I should have probably um, shortened the bodice, but I didn't. So I wanted to add 
the pleats, I wanted the pleats to be hitting me on the hip, but I see that there is a little drop in the back, but it's, it's all good. I found these buttons in my stash, so I just used them. I'm actually short one. There is eight. I'm short one for the neck for the top, but I guess I wouldn't have to button that one, so I left it off. Now to the pleats. This is what it looks like because I did it in the front seam on the inside as well. I made a narrow hem and then the pattern there's a thread sorry and the pattern had you do the little narrow pleats and so this um placket locks in at the end so i just love the accordion pleats that's in right now not for everything like but i like the way of how it turned out on this garment i absolutely love it So everything is basically the same in terms of the sizing, again, because I was able to use the fork to get everything uniform. But I absolutely love it. I don't know if after um, I dry clean this linen, it will remain the same, but I really don't know. So I just love the way it looked. I like the way it turned out. I think it's a pretty, um, there's a thread right there. It's a pretty neat piece. It turned out actually better than I thought because I often don't like making linen dresses unless they're open, flary, and just roomy. So to add little details, intricate details to linen often gives me a problem. I don't want it. It's like a waste of the fabric. But this one turned out really lovely. I like it. Not sure where to wear it, but it's still a nice make. Um, I've added pictures or videos along in the video in the in the video, so you can take a look and give me your feedback. The sleeves are puffed with elastic. I totally forgot about the sleeves, and that's it. The mandarin collar. That's about it nothing much to this one i think it's simple plain but i love the fact that the accordion um please at the end is everything to me <laughs> so that's it for this week um again i love this one i think i'll make it again and probably something like a gauzy fabric but i absolutely love it um it was a quick make and i will make it again this is all i have for you this week i really appreciate you Thanks for watching my video and supporting me. Have a great day. Bye.